today, folks, I'm going to bring you guys a little uh, how-to video. Um, recently, I got a new 3DS capture card, and I was looking online like for websites and people who do them, and I found a few people, but they, I mean, it's been a week, dude, and I figured that they just don't want my money, and I figured, you know what, man, I'm not going to waste time. I'm going to go ahead and do this on my own. I'm going to figure out a way to get around these people so I can do things on my own now, you know? And that's basically what I did, man. So what I did was I found a free online photo editor called um, PicMonkey. And, you know, instead of going and spending hundreds of dollars on uh, Adobe Photoshop or any kind of other software, dude, and learning how to do it, this literally took me 10 minutes to do and to figure out and learn how to edit and do anything on this uh, photo editor, man. So if, if you don't want to go out and spend any money, hey, man, more power to you. Uh, you know, I wouldn't recommend it. After doing this, man, you can you can make good quality um, layouts for yourself and really really fast. So without further ado, man, here we go. Let's get into this. All right. So the first thing you're gonna do is go to PicMonkey, and you're gonna want to open up about two windows or so, right? Uh, for PicMonkey, um, we're gonna start with the uh, dimensions for this. It's gonna be oh shit. It's gonna be uh, 1280 by 720. Right, that's uh, mostly standard for video output. All right, so let's let's start this over again. Holy fucking shit! All right, so basically, 1280 by 720, right? 1280 by 720. All right, apply it. There it is. 1280 by 720. Um, same thing over here, man. You'll see why it's uh, 1280 by 720. Alright, so basically these are going to be, one of these is going to be the background for your layout, and the other one is going to be where you actually put your gameplay footage. Um, so this is going to be the background layout, and what we're going to do is we're going to go here to um, overlays, and I'm going to grab one. Any kind of overlay, man, you could just literally take a background from any kind of, anything you search, man, and just, just put it in the background. If it's like got a, a certain artist, if it's from their website, dude, and you just take the picture, um, I would recommend just putting, you know, what I mean, just just don't be a dick, man. Don't don't take anybody's work and just um, use it for your own, you know. I always like to give uh, credit to the artist. Uh, so here we go, twelve eighty by seven twenty, man. Here it is. All right, we're just gonna stretch this out. There, perfect. All right, cool. It's stretched out. So this is basically gonna be the 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 background image from our actual game gameplay footage and this one we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna add the same exact overlay to this you could do whatever you want man you could do other overlays you can do different colors you don't have to do the same thing I'm doing but this is just basically the same guidelines that I'm telling you guys how to use um so yeah let's get 1280 by 720 okay here we go 1280 by 720 let's just stretch this out man it doesn't have to be perfect for this one um and we're gonna save this alright blah 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 cool I actually already saved this, all right. So we can we don't need to do that. And then, so once you already save it, it's gonna be saved to your desktop, right? And uh, you're gonna need to make a different one. This is gonna be the gameplay one, and now you're gonna have to go make a different one. So what you're gonna do is gonna go over here to uh, the basic edits, and you're gonna use crop. And for the um, face cam uh, border, you're gonna have to do. I would say do like three. 320 by 240, 320 by 240, um, yeah, that, that looks about right, alright, so you're going to do the same thing you did for that one, the last one, you're going to go ahead here, blah, 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 save it to wherever the hell you want to save it, man, you know what I mean, same thing, um, I already did this prehand to save some time, so, uh, we're just going to go right into over here, and we're going to drop them into the, our uh, background, so what we're going to do, is over here we're gonna look for the ones that we saved earlier which were the gameplay footage and the face cam so I'm gonna grab the gameplay footage I'm gonna import that in here right and yeah I'm gonna set it there uh, make it around yay big right and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and look into the blend modes Maybe darken, lighter. Um, I like multiply. It makes it a little bit darker. 
Um, you can change the colors as well. You can do whatever you want, man. You, can, you know, more power to you. Um, I just, you know, just flip it and make it upside down, and that's it, dude. All right, and then I'm gonna add in my uh, my gameplay or my uh, my face cam overlay piece that's a uh, proportioned to how it will look in OBS. This is for OBS actually. Um, I don't know how th how this works in um, any of the other softwares, but I'm pretty sure it should work the same. Man. Um, like if you have um, like if you're using a uh, What's the other one? XSplit, man. It should work the same, bro. I don't, I don't think it's that big of a difference. But let me know in the comments if it is. If you guys are using that. Okay, so. All right, that looks shit, man. That looks fine to me. All right, so now the next thing you can do is you guys need to make sure that if you have a chat, man, you could have room for a chat right up here. So you would just make another box and just place it right here, right? Make sure uh, you could distinguish it and make it a little bit like darker, you know, anything, anything like that, just to make it kind of pop out. Um, but I'll show you guys a way to make it pop out regardless in, in, in a few seconds. But now, if you guys have like a friend code you want to add, say you like me, I want to add my friend code, and we'll do yellow. Yellow looks like a good, it'll pop out, you know. So we'll do friend code. friend code um, now what we'll do is we'll go to effects effects are cool because they'll give you like it looks right there like a little backdrop uh, shadow I usually don't like to use that shadow I usually like to go and, and get my angle to about 90 degrees this is gonna make it directly on um, underneath it use the intensive intensity all the way to 100 the horizontal blur maybe 6 and the vertical blur We'll do 10, and that gives it a fat border. Nothing too crazy, but it just makes it pop a little bit more. So now anywhere you put it on the screen, you'll be able to clearly see it. Um, this works really well if you have a lighter background. This looks cooler if you put it you know, where the uh, lighter parts of the screen are, because it makes it pop more. Um, so yeah, that's just basically the, um, that's the roughness of, of how simple this could be. You know what I mean, the basic tools. So we're gonna label this one a uh, test layout. Layout. Save it to our desktop again. Cool. All right. So it's already saved to our desktop. Now what we're gonna do, since we already have that, is I'm gonna open up my um, my 3ds uh, viewer for my capture card. Cool. Pokemon Omega Ruby. Um. And we are going to open up OBS. You're going to see me in a second. Yep, there I am. And I have a little war turtle here. Um, I'll show you guys how to do that right now in a second. So basically, what you are going to do is... I already have this, this set up here. So, okay. Uh, let's get our gameplay footage in here first. You're going to want to go to Window Capture. If you guys are familiar with OBS, man, you probably already know this, but... I mean, I'm. This is like my my fourth day using OBS, dude. And so yeah, we're just gonna put it up there, man. Um, just fit it to, to how how big your screen is, man. Honestly, how big you think it is. And then what we're gonna do now is add image. So this is where you're gonna bring in the overlay that that you um that you, we did. But first, before we do that, we're gonna preview this overlay. And I'm sorry, I just messed this, this whole step up. So we're, we're previewing the overlay, and what we're going to do is we're going to go to tools. All right, uh, the inspector tool is a tool that I'm going to use to get a cool border-like effect. All right, we're just going to delete that. We're going to convert it to a PNG. Yeah, so now it's going to make it bright. And you see that? It makes the border of this pop out a little bit more, so that's a little cool. Um, and now we're going to do the same thing for the face cam. Um, yeah, it looks about right. We're just going to delete that too. All right, cool. So now that we did that, we're going to save that. Command S. Click out of this. 
click out of that, bring up our OBS again, um, and now we're going to get the image. So get the image, okay, we'll just put blah blah blah. Um, browse, we're going to go to our, our desktop, and it's going to be, uh, it's going to be test layout is what we named it earlier. Mm, and there it is. Cool. All right, man. So we just hit OK. We, we drag this out over here. And wow, I'm already perfectly aligned to this. All right, that's cool. So what you could do is for your window capture, you could just fit it a little bit better. For instructional purposes only, I'm not going to fit this perfectly, but uh, it's not bad, right? You get the, the main screen of things. You get the, the whatever you need. So yeah, guys, that's basically it, man. How to make a Twitch Nintendo 3DS layout in a few minutes. Um, yeah, it, w it didn't take long at all, man. I don't know why the hell I, did, I, I did, didn't do it on my own. Um, but yeah, guys, if you found this video useful, go ahead and drop me a like, comment on my uh, video. Um, subscribe to my channel, add me on my social medias. Um, yeah, guys, thanks for watching the video, and uh, peace out.